Want to learn how to create a half-tone retro pop photo effect using the Procreate app? Look no further. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to do that. Hello there, Stephanie here from My Prince Collection, the place where I share with you the best ways for you to use the Procreate app so that you can make money. This is the final tutorial of the Halftone series for Procreate. In the previous tutorials, I shared how to create a Halftone Procreate brush from scratch, how to create a Halftone Retro background, and how to create a 3D Halftone Retro lettering effect. If you haven't and would like to watch the previous tutorials, a link will be in the description below. Let's learn how to create a Halftone Retro Pop photo effect using the Procreate app. Let's open the Procreate app. I'm using a screen size Canva and I'm painting the Canva with this nice bright yellow. To create our halftone photo effect, um, I've imported a photo from Unsplash. You can import any photo or even use your favorite photos to use this effect. So I'm going to go to my layers and turn my photo on. With this photo selected, I'm going to make some adjustments. So I'm going to click on adjustments, hue and saturation, and I'm going to turn the saturation all the way down. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go to my layers, duplicate the layer that we've created, change the mode to color dodge, and tap on the layer and click invert. Okay, great. Now you can't see anything, but here's the magic. You click on the adjustments, Gaussian blur, and you blur this quite a bit, and you create this kind of cool outline of your design. Now you go to your layers and you merge these two layers over here. Okay, now that we have our photo ready, I'm gonna go to my layers. On top of this one, I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna select this green, drag and drop to fill with this color. Go back to our layers and click on clipping mask. With the one underneath selected, which is the photo that we've created, we are gonna go to adjustments, halftone, newspaper, and we are gonna increase the amount of effect that you want. And there you go, with a couple of simple steps, we've easily created a halftone photo effect. And we are done. We have just created a halftone retro pop photo effect using the Procreate app. And this is the end of the halftone series for Procreate. Together, we've learned how to create a halftone brush for Procreate from scratch, We've then learned how to create a halftone retro background, how to create a 3D halftone retro, retro lettering, and finally, in this tutorial, how to create a halftone retro pop photo effect all by using the Procreate app. If you like halftone brushes, make sure to check out my full halftone brush set for Procreate or grab a sample of the set. The links will be in the description below. Question, did you see all the videos from this series? If you did, let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And with this video, we have completed the Halftone series for Procreate. If you missed any of the previous videos or want to check out the Halftone Procreate brush set, the links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and until the next tutorial, happy drills and illustrations.